Welcome to the Green Creek Shipyard. This is a modified 40 foot shipping container home with a very modern and unique layout in the interior. It also has a huge hot tub and a nice upper deck for you to enjoy. Not to mention these same hosts are also building a second container home as we speak. So I'm really pumped to check that one out when it's ready. But without further ado, let's now hop into the full tour. Welcome to the Green Creek Shipyard Container. You can tell upon initial glance that we have a lot to cover on this front exterior from these first few clips. The entire ground floor, not to mention even the second floor deck. But let's get a little closer. You can see the fire pit there on the right, then the sitting area and garage, and finally your hot tub. From this bird's eye view now, you get a better idea of the property as a whole. Let's go into some more detail, starting first with the fire pit, which I'm gonna walk over to now. I'll begin to load it up with some wood to get it going. I didn't mention this, but there is a ton of free firewood waiting for you behind the container where you park. And now our fire is all set and you have four chairs around it. Well, let's now continue on to the other part of this area. Walking on, you have two additional chairs and this little table. This all sits right in front of that huge garage door, which I'll touch on more a little bit later, not to mention that grill on the right side and your gigantic hot tub here, which can fit the whole crew. Okay, okay, now just bear with me, I have to mention this. Guys, this is the greenest grass that I've ever seen before at an Airbnb. It is just so green and perfectly manicured that the first time I saw it, I think I fell in love. Okay, that's it, now back to the tour. Okay, if you have not yet clicked off the video, let's now head to the upper deck via this long spiral staircase. We have now arrived over there on the left hand side. You have these two very comfortable swinging chairs and an umbrella. There are plenty of seating options, not to mention that very long bar table that runs almost the entire length of that wall. It's really great for sunset. And with this drone shot, you know, I love my drone shots. You can now actually see where the firewood is and parking. Next, I will briefly point this out, but on the other end of the property, you have this little pond and two chairs. Last but not least, we are located in Columbus, North Carolina. It's right on the border of South Carolina, and these are just some drone shots to give you a better representation of the surrounding area. But that's about it for everything on the exterior. We've covered a lot. Let's check out the interior. When I walked in here for the first time, it actually came across as pretty spacious to me, which I don't typically say about container homes. I really liked this layout. This is now looking back in the opposite direction, and here is your sitting area, which is one of the first things you're going to see when you walk in through the front door. We'll begin on this side of the container and this cool green sliding door, which I'm playing with way too much. Let's now walk in inside and this will eventually take us into this bottom floor bedroom, which has a very comfortable queen size mattress inside of it. You have tables on either side and these nice little lighting fixtures. You're also directly facing this big window and you're looking out towards the yard and the pond so you can wake up to that view every morning. And I'm just doing all different types of poses for you guys in this bed let's keep going we'll exit that same bedroom and turn our attention up top there's this little black ladder so we'll climb up it and this takes you to this little loft area the ceiling is pretty low so definitely watch your head this is technically defined as a floor mattress not an additional bedroom by airbnb just in case you're curious this gives you a nice little view as well. You can see all the way down the container, more into the sitting area and the kitchen, which we are going to head to now. So let's go back downstairs to explore further. We'll begin in the sitting and entertainment area. This is what you're going to see as soon as you enter. And of course it comes fully equipped with a large smart TV. There's also this eye catching couch in the color matches perfectly with the table, chairs and countertops. Getting a little closer now on top of this counter behind the couch, there's also some outlets. So this makes for a great workspace. 
Let's venture further into the home and we'll come to this small dining table. You have two chairs here and there's also the guest book. I always love flipping through these and just learning about all the other previous guests before me, what they enjoyed about the place, what the local attractions are. And this may be a first. It's basically a fancy electronic guidebook. So cool, everything from the local recommendations in the area, the house rules, the check-in and check-out instructions. This is really neat and definitely something I wanna put in my own Airbnb someday. Panning to the right, I'll quickly point this out. This is the same garage door that we saw earlier, just from the inside. And with the touch of one button, you can open it up very easily. And this is a great idea. It lets in a ton of natural light. It's basically one massive window. So many other container homes just lack enough windows. But now onto the kitchen. Walking into the kitchen, the green and brown color scheme continues, and I really love the simple assortment up here of all the decorations and your dishes and glasses out in the open. You definitely have a decent amount of countertop space in this kitchen if you want to stay in one night and do some cooking, not to mention the little stove top and of course your sink. If we shift our attention to this other corner and walk in this direction, you have the rest of your key kitchen appliances and a few other items like one of those retro looking Gatlands fridge and freezer units and all of your different coffee and tea supplies like this which can be used to heat up your tea and a coffee drip system and plenty of coffee mugs. Another sliding green door. I'm gonna push this back and we're gonna walk on down to the final room in this Airbnb. This will take us into the one bathroom in this container. This bathroom is pretty modern and also felt quite luxurious to me, in my opinion. Looking in this direction towards the sink, you'll notice there on the left, you have four towels hanging in that rack. Felt a little fancy to me, like something you may see in a hotel. I also love that circular mirror and all of the lighting fixtures. In this other corner, you have some wood paneling behind the toilet, which makes it feel more high end. And last, but certainly not least, you have your shower, which is made up of these big white tiles that run all the way up and down this wall. And that's it for the bathroom. I'll finish up this video by giving a quick sneak peek of the upcoming new container on this property. It will also be a 40 foot container, but it'll have a different layout. And the owner mentioned that especially the outdoor amenities are going to be pretty crazy. So I'm excited to come back and check that out. Thanks so much for watching though, guys. The booking link is down in the video description and I will see you all very soon for a brand new Airbnb tour.